Hey there, we had a question around uh, if you define a polygon within a database table, like a, a serviceable area, how to actually tell whether a user was in that area or not. So we're gonna go through that today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and add a database table, and I'm just gonna call this area. And what I'm gonna do is I will add two fields. The first will just be the name of the area. And then the second field will be a polygon, right? And this is going to be called um, the area and I'll hit save. So I'll just call this one service area one. And for the area itself, I'm gonna add a polygon. So I'm gonna add a, a popular restaurant near where I live that is Firestone Grill. And I'm just gonna click add the polygon. It's gonna add it automatically. I'm not gonna add it. I'm not gonna drag or do anything to change it. I'll just go ahead and click save. So we've got service area one, and then we have um, basically a polygon around Firestone Grill. So now we wanna basically use the API to pull whether a user is within that service area. And if they are, then return this information. So I could go to the API, but I, I'm gonna hit belated API endpoints here, and I'm gonna go to get area. So if I run it right now, right, there's no filters or anything, it's gonna return that one service area, no problem. But uh, we wanna, only return it if the user is within that area. So I'm going to add an input. I'm gonna to go to Geo and I'm gonna add a point, right? And this is normally gotten from the user's phone. So I'm gonna call this user location and I'll go ahead and click save. And so now that I've clicked save, I'm getting that user location and I wanna use this in this query, right? So in query all records, uh, if I click on this function, I can do a custom query, right? And on that custom query, if I hit this pencil, what I actually want to do is add a conditional. And I, uh, I, I want to first reference the database area and that er uh, the area uh, field that I defined. So within the area table, look at the area field, and then I'm going to add a filter called within. And so I'm going to say within um, the input that the user shares with me. And I can also set an offset by meter. So you know, make sure that this distance is uh, within like, let's just call it 10 meters of the polygon. And I can obviously adjust that to anything that I wanted. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. So let's take a step back. We're going to the database table area in the field area and make sure that the user's input is within 10 meters of the defined polygon, okay? And then the final thing is in the within evaluation, we just wanna make sure it's a Boolean. Is this true or false? So I'm just gonna go ahead and type true over here and it already detects it's a Boolean. I'm gonna say uh, done and I'll hit save. So now what's happening is if I go ahead and run this, right? Um, and uh, I won't do any user location for now, nothing is gonna return. That's because the user is not in that location or this query did not find any service area or area uh, that matched this location because I haven't specified it. Well, I've actually gotten an area in the in the clipboard that takes this longitude and latitude over here. So I'm going to go ahead and run it with that uh, just right now. So I'll go ahead and do that there. And then I'm going to hit run. So now that it uh, and by the way, I just basically picked an area that was around here. But now that I've run that, it finds the service area. So this is a way where you can take the user's location and query and filter on that query is this user within that location? So when I go ahead and hit run and I specify a longitude and lati uh, latitude that is within that 10 meters of the polygon, it's gonna return the result and then you can do whatever you want from there. So I hope that's helpful and we'll see you in the next video.